So welcome to this video blog uh, for the weekend workshop about distribution in 2010 with Sherry Candler and John Reese. This is the second day. Yesterday we had Sherry in and a bunch of other people talking about marketing and distribution. Day went very, very well. Uh, loads of people got lots of uh, information. But today is with John um, and it's again absolutely packed with information. The room is packed with filmmakers. People are twittering, writing emails. Social media is going bonkers with people reporting um, about the course. We've got a hashtag uh, on Twitter for the for the workshop, which is dist2010. If you want to go back in Twitter and see what people have been saying, but already it's been fantastic, and we've got a whole afternoon um, headed towards us. So rather than hearing just from John about what the workshop is all about, let's hear about from some of the guys who are on the workshop what they've learned and what they think of it so far. It's about empowering filmmakers to then be able to take what they've made get it to an audience, um, market it in the right way, and uh, you know, for people to see it in the way they originally intended. I've got loads more out of it than I actually expected to, and I'm suffering a little bit from brain overload, but the breaks are just long enough for me to kind of digest everything before we go into the next session and get more stuff thrown at us. The one thing that's going to make the biggest change is going to be the fact that I need to look at filmmaking as a process almost from a reverse end, to have a good understanding of marketing and uh, social media networking, to be able to build that side of my film almost prior to actually getting into the filming process. Um, completely unlike anything else I've been to before in terms of strategies, uh, using social networking, um, it, it is completely outside the box. It's been absolutely riveting. I've been sitting here in my seat and I've not been tempted to leave it for a moment. I've just been completely focused on the milk of understanding that's been pouring down on top of me. It's actually turned marketing uh, into something that I believe that I can do, which it was just, you know, a really dirty word. Um, I actually see that I could actually take control over my own work. People seem to have a pretty good knowledge of what's um, kind of the basics of what's going on. So, you know, the, the questions are pretty much you know, are a little bit above the basics, which is good. John and Sherry are fantastic. They've been brilliant at, at breaking things down into really easily digestible chunks. If they hadn't that kind of enthusiasm and, and motivational um, approach to what they're doing, it, this would be really dry stuff. But it's not dry. I'm actually looking forward now to marketing my work, which I really couldn't have said a while ago. In coining this term, that John Reese's term, this um, producer of marketing, and distribution, he's uh, highlighted sort of a huge shortcoming in the training sector in the in UK film because the traditional methods of releasing a film just aren't working for independent filmmakers in the way we have seen for the last 20, 30 years. I have to look again at the script and find out the elements in it that, that are uh, really and truly marketable and uh, by that, I don't mean just in a global sense, but looking for niche markets. So I'd, I'd never thought of the script in that way before, but now I can, I can see it's absolutely essential. I've made two films now for a label, and neither of them have given us any return financially. And even though I like making movies, it's, I've got to exist, I've got to live, I've got to pay the rent. A lot of people are not prepared to impart their knowledge because a lot of people are very protective of the knowledge in this business. That's what we found. So to have John and Sherry come over and just give us this wealth of information and this knowledge and this how-to is, is kind of invaluable really because I've spent years searching Google for many of the things which I've heard in two or three hours today. Well, I've come from Newcastle overnight on the bus and it's been well worth the effort, so I guess that's what I think about the two days so far. It's really simple and it's never, ever forget about the fact it's a business and distribution and your audience are key to everything being a success, really. If nothing else, this weekend I've fallen in love with independent filmmaking again. 
Oh, Ten second final thoughts. Not so bad, actually. I thought it was going to be Maybe two seconds to think. It's been uh, uh, an intense experience, I think, is the best way to describe it. Loads of information, all kind of rammed into us really, really quickly. We've overrun by about two hours and we're still kind of assimilating information, but it's been amazing. And I think in the next couple of days when we go home and think about it and mull it over and go back over the Twitter feed, I think we're going to discover that we've actually learned stuff that's worth way more than the price of coming here for a couple of days. It was inspiration. I have a lot to think about. It'll take me about two months to think about what was just said. I am absolutely out of brain. So much information. Fantastic. If you're an indie filmmaker, you should be here. He was like John McEnroe on crack. I need, I need a coffee now. Shame on you for not being here. You've missed out on a great weekend. So it's all over. Fabulous weekend. Uh, you've heard the comments from everybody. Everyone's kind of, the, the brains have exploded with the quantity and depth of information and I think uh, John and Sherry have really transformed the careers of a bunch of filmmakers in here. So when we run this again, you must come to it. Right, we all need to get down to the pub and have a drink. Yes. Let's go.